So here are the thunderstorms we are in fact tracking that are moving into Ontario. Sault Ste. Marie, you can see a line of thunderstorms right now, heavy downpours, potential for seeing some hail, and we have a severe thunderstorm watch currently in place, including Barrie, Sudbury not quite included, but Aurelia is, and these regions tonight could be seeing the heavy downpours, the very windy weather, and with thunderstorm, there's always a risk of seeing tornadic activity too. So widespread risks through Ontario towards the north, and then eastern Ontario, it should be later in the evening through to the morning hours when things could be quite severe. Now this is today. Tomorrow also has the risk of seeing some active weather. They should generally be severe around southern Quebec, including Montreal, Ottawa, Kingston too, generally non-severe in cottage country for Ontario, as well as the city of Toronto. Hot and humid again tomorrow, feeling closer to 35 in Toronto. And as for today, we did break a few records in terms of temperatures. Hamilton, 31.7 for you. Windsor, the hot spot at 33.5. Look at the hot, hazy conditions over here, Gary. It's not a comfortable air mass and certainly not great with no AC. Yeah, that's right. And imagine biking. Perhaps you uh, have to do that because you're a courier, but a lot of these people doing it just because they want to be outdoors and continuing their exercise. Yes, they just have to remember to stay well hydrated because it is steamy and hot. Now here's the cold front that's going to bring those thunderstorms. We're continuing to track them this evening and then it's going to move towards the Nickel Belt. There's the areas around Barrie's where we have the watch in place. Now this cold front swings through southern Ontario for tomorrow too, but what we also have in store is temperatures that will start to cool down. We don't really get it in Toronto until Thursday day when the daytime high is 19 degrees, which is actually a little bit closer to seasonal. Towards the east, we do have frost warnings in place, including Halifax. Temperatures Tuesday morning shaping up like this. Stay tuned for Weather Network News. Gary has details on why a state of emergency was declared in Thunder Bay today. Here's what we saw yesterday in London, Ontario. Cloudy skies and once again for this evening we expect to continue to see the cloudy conditions in Ontario and the risk for thunderstorms. Now severe thunderstorms could be happening into the evening around Elliott Lake towards Cottage Country as well. All along a warm front boundary and this area marked in red too could be seeing even more severe thunderstorms into the evening. Now with thunderstorms, there's always the risk for tornadic activity. We'll continue to track the thunderstorms we are seeing this evening in the next little while. Now Tuesday afternoon, again, there's a risk of severe storms along a cold front. Southern Quebec is the area we're most concerned about, as well as regions towards Ottawa and Kingston. And we're also seeing some active weather through the afternoon in northwestern Ontario and the prairies. And the risk is there for storms in the west tomorrow. All right, so we're really seeing these storms starting to fire up. Watches have been extended throughout Ontario, and it's all courtesy of this cold front right here where we're seeing heavy downpours, lightning strikes, but also here's another area of concern. Right here around Elliott Lake, notice the storms bubbling up, the yellows and the reds. That's lots of lightning, potentially tornadic activity because with thunderstorms, there's always that risk, but we're seeing that moving on through, and this is the watch that we currently have in place. So it has extended to include air areas around Killarney, but it still includes areas around Barrie and up towards North Bay. We now have that watch currently in place. So very severe thunderstorms, heavy downpours, lightning strikes, not out of the question, and windy weather too. Now, unfortunately, around Sault Ste. Marie, it's more so the concern is very heavy downpours, so flooding rains. And then the areas marked in red into the evening is where we're going to continue to see the risk for more severe thunderstorms. Tuesday afternoon, once again, we are seeing severe weather. And it's going to be hot and humid in southern Quebec. You're really getting the humid air mass for tomorrow. So that's going to help fuel those storms. Montreal, Ottawa, Kingston, note that you're included in that red area for more active weather. Humidex values in place for Tuesday afternoon, and a few records were broken today. Windsor up to 33.5 degrees. Congratulations, or not congratulations, Gary, because you know what? When it's hot and humid like it was today, you can see here the air not looking very clean. No, it must be tough riding a bike. I don't know if that uh, gentleman's a courier. I was talking about that before. That's got to be tough. But some people love it. Hot.
hear it and still exercise. You know, you like that. I love summer as much as a lot of other people, but not when it's really thick and you can't step outside without feeling like you have problems breathing. Now, this cold front is going to clear the air. It's also why we're seeing those thunderstorms. And again, it's sort of two areas of concern. It's Sault Ste. Marie that's seeing the heavy downpours. Then it's up towards North Bay where we're seeing the thunderstorms. And also along the warm front boundary is in through cottage country where we're getting the risk for severe weather into this evening and also the risk tomorrow. Temperatures cool down significantly though by Thursday, 19 degrees in the city of Toronto and frost warnings in the east. In Weather Network News, find out why Thunder Bay declared a state of emergency today. This Today, the remains of tropical storm barrel soaked beach vacations in parts of Georgia and northern Florida. It knocked out power to tens of thousands. Now, there are no longer any watches or warnings in place for barrel. But what we do have is a tropical depression that is still moving at about 11 kilometers an hour. Sustained winds still packing a punch and is still really wet along the coast. As far as severe weather goes into tomorrow, if you're traveling stateside, Oklahoma City getting some severe thunderstorms. And then this weather story plays into our story here at home. We're going to see windy weather in southern Quebec and into Ontario too. Now there is a risk tonight for severe weather too. Stay tuned for your national forecast. We have the latest watches and warnings. This weather